सो वेलकम टू अनदर रेसिपी दिस इज चिकन रेड मसाला दिस इज अ थिक ग्रेवी सो आई हैव यूज टू वन के जी ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स ऑफ चिकन दिस इज वॉश्ड एंड दीज आर मीडियम पीसेस एंड आई हैव एडेड अराउंड ट्वेल्व टेबल स्पून ऑफ योगट वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट हाफ अ टेबल स्पून ऑफ जिंजर एंड हाफ अ टेबल स्पून ऑफ गार्लिक पेस्ट अ पिंच ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ क्यूमिन पाउडर वन टी स्पून ऑफ रेड चिली पाउडर हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ गरम मसाला वन टी स्पून ऑफ पेपर पाउडर एंड मिक्स दिस वेल and keep this aside for some time close it and keep it aside for marinating in a pan heat some oil and add some desiccated coconut and braise this for some time continue to braise it till the color changes let it braise and it becomes slightly brown This is how it looks and empty it on a plate and let it cool down for some time. Add some oil into the pan and let it heat for some time. Add onions. I have used around 3 medium size onions. Cut into lengthwise. And continue to braise this. till all the moisture evaporates and you can observe that the color changes so once the onions are fried add 1 tablespoon of sugar so this speeds up the process the onions are fried till golden brown and this is the quantity that i have used add this into a mixer and with minimum quantity of water grind it into a fine paste this is the color of the onions heat some oil into a pan and add bay leaves i've added two peppercorns some cloves cardamom and one cinnamon stick so add this marinated chicken I have marinated this for almost two and a half hours. Add the chicken and braise it for some time. For around three four minutes, and you can observe that all the water is come out. Don't add extra water into this. after 3 4 minutes of braising it you can add this mixture this paste and mix this well mix this evenly so all the meat pieces are coated and i have added around half glass of water half a cup of water to add uh, extra quantity because we want this to be little thick 
and let it cook on high flame occasionally keep opening and checking it so once it is cooking on high flame you can reduce the flame and simmer it for some time once it is simmered once it is around 70% cooked i have added 2 tablespoons of red kolapuri masala so if you don't have this you can add 1 tablespoon of red chili powder this will add to the flavor and this will give a very good color to the chicken gravy so once it is been cooked for almost 20 to 25 minutes cooked and simmered for some time mix it well keep monitoring it the time may vary as per each chicken depends on the pieces if they are tender and this is how it's ready this is a thick gravy because of the coconut and the onions that were mixed it gives a thick gravy and very nice taste and don't forget to garnish it with some chopped coriander leaves so this recipe will give you slightly a sweetish taste because of the onions which were fried and the coconut that was used and also when you top it with some red chili powder it will give you a slight spicy taste so do try this recipe